the MVP of this season. I think mo- I'd love to hear what you think. Real quick, here's what I think. I think most fans would say the best player on the team is Trent Williams or Nick Bosa, and they're probably right. Um, but those guys were playing at the top of their game when the Niners were three and five. And Trent Williams didn't play in this last game and the Niners won. I'm not taking anything away from them, but I'm trying to quantify this turnaround. And to me, it's not them. The MVP of this team is Debo Samuel. And I don't think it's close. I think this season turned around when they started using him as a running back. There's a stat. I looked it up. When he has more than five carries in his career, six or more in a game, Niners are undefeated. Undefeated. Because he scores a rushing touchdown once every seven carries from far out. So once they figured, I mean, honestly, if they were using him like this two years ago, they'd all be champions. Jimmy would be a champion. Kyle would be a champion. Trey wouldn't be on the team. Like, this is a revelation, and I think this is what changed everything. Debo. Yeah, there's there's really no argument against that. Debo Samuel is like that character that we all create in Madden, uh, and it's the reason why we're all ultimate Madden players. He's he's just- 99 at everything, right? Exactly. He's, yes. he's, he really is our, our, our ace up his sleeve, and it's just a matter of playing him. I, I did, the formula is not a secret. The Cowboys, you know, we'll talk about that later, will be ready for it. The Rams knew about it. Everyone knows about it at this point, but it's amazing how really unstoppable he is. They just have to stick with it, and it's game over. It's one of the most remarkable seasons I've ever seen from a 49ers player. I mean, Jerry Rice had great seasons too, but a lot of them were in the 80s before I was born or, or co- conscious of what was happening. I mean, Debo's numbers are video game numbers. And the fact that he's not really getting MVP consideration blows my mind. Now, it's because the Niners are a wild card team. But again, they wouldn't have been a wild card team if they'd been using them this way all season. Like, if people really were paying attention to the Niners, they would say Debo is their best player. And if anyone gets MVP votes on this team, it's Debo. He's not going to get any. It's going to go to Aaron Rodgers or some quarterback. But this guy is having one of the most remarkable seasons I've ever seen from a skill position player, he's, he doesn't have a position. He's transcended positions, Sibla. He's just a weapon. It's crazy. It's crazy. He really is. I mean, they used yeah. to call Kyle Yushik the offensive weapon. I think in honor of Debo Samuel, I think they can both be offensive weapons. But if there's only supposed to be one, it's definitely Debo Samuel. He's a true athlete. He's just a football player. Like you said, he's transcended. There's, there's just no other way of quantifying his impact on this team. Eight rushing touchdowns on 56 carries. He, well, I, I was just going through his stats yesterday. They're ridiculous. So he averaged 6.2 yards per carry. That's crazy in and of itself. And he also led the league in yards per catch at 18.2. What? That's the part that actually impresses me the most is that he can be such an effective rushing weapon and still be deadly in the passing game when they do pass it to him. Yes. And that's what I was really like, impressive. I'm so impressed with how he runs between the tackles. He's so violent. And the way he churns his knees, the way he pumps his knees high reminds me of the clips I've seen of Roger Craig. And I think there's similarities in the sense that they're both run and pass dual threats. Uh, but I, I mean, I don't think Roger Craig was as fast as Debo. No, no, he definitely wasn't. But they, what's really cool about the, his style of running for both of them, the reason they keep their legs pumping is because one, they are super athletes, but yes. they are that allows them to keep their momentum going. They're just redirecting their inertia up so yes. that as they make their cut, they can redirect it again going forward. So it's just it's it's very dynamic. It's it's a thing of physics to watch to watch those two run, but especially Debo Samuel. And Debo is as as difficult as he is to actually tackle once you put hands on him. He's not like a Juwan Jennings or a Brandon Ayuk who will just bounce off defenders only. He's really good at making them miss. Yes. And I'm really hoping that plays into the longevity of his career here. Could you imagine? Oh, my. They need to. They have to resign him. I was playing around with the idea of trading Debo Samuel. No. He's the MVP. He's the best player in the team. Most valuable player in the team. He makes other players better. They, he has to stay here. Uh, he has to stay on this team. I know he's had injury issues, but um, got to keep him. Got to. Especially right now where yeah. Brandon Ayuk and Jawan Jennings, where their development is, they have cheap op- well, cheaper options behind him. They're not going to need to go out and draft another receiver. They've been really good at developing Jawan Jennings. And I mean, if Jennings goes down, I guess there's Mohamed Sanu. But as far as the core of the receivers here, they have the ability to have a decent support cast around Debo right. Samuel to where they can put their eggs in the Debo basket, where right. they can give him the money and still have competitive receivers like Jawan Jennings behind him. And I think the reason that Debo Samuel has cemented himself as a long-term Niner is because he sh- he's not just a wide receiver. 
I mean, wide receivers are somewhat replaceable, especially when you're a run first team with a quarter, you know, you're a run first team anyway, but now that he's just an offensive weapon, I mean, he's the key to the whole offense. He's more important than the quarterback, whoever the quarterback is. It's all about Debo Samuel. And I mean, he's like Tyreek Hill for this offense, but way better. Tyreek Hill can't just put him at running back and say, here's seven carries, go, go score a touchdown. If you give Debo Samuel seven carries, he's going to score a touchdown most likely. Like they went to Tennessee, gave him five carries, lost. Maybe if they've given him two more, one of them would have been a touchdown, you know, like they, they just, yeah, this guy's given the Niners way to uh, a crazy unfair advantage. No other team has this. It's unfair. Like, you know, that touchdown's coming from 20 yards out. Oh, there it is. That's not fair. No one else can do that. One of the reasons that Debo Samuel has to get a certain amount of carries is because sometimes they really do get him and teams have gotten better at if they know it's a Debo run, they've gotten a lot better at actually dropping him for a loss and things like that. But it's just a matter of when Kyle Shanahan can set up the play designs before, where it gets to the point where it, he just gets to the second level largely untouched. It's just a matter of time before the offensive line can spring him. And that's the, that's why they have to stick with his plan, especially coming into this game. Yeah, uh, Juice Man Jeremy says that work still watching. America doesn't run on Duncan, it runs on Grant. Funny story, Jason Dumas, uh, he works for Kron, Showed me yesterday. He sent me this little uh, text yesterday. He was walking through San Francisco. He happened to look into someone's apartment and saw them watching me on television, watching like you know one of these shows. And he sent That's me a awesome. Pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for. Out of curiosity, do you run on Pete's? Yes, Pete's. I do Pete's, and I, I'm a Cafe Domingo medium. Dunkin' is like the Dallas Cowboys. They call themselves America's Coffee, but it, yeah, we don't do so Dunkin'. Dunkin'. Yeah, we don't Except do Dunkin' out here in Northern California. We just have a more sophisticated palate. Sorry. What do you? What do y'all? What do y'all think about Wes Welker's job so far? Is he the reason why the wide receiver is rolling? Yeah, let's give him credit because I said they should fire him. I think I said they should fire him. He's got Jawan Jennings rolling. He got Ayuk rolling, Debo rolling. Sorry, Wes. Good job, Wes. You know, I almost wonder if it if it's not a matter of Wes was ever doing a bad job, but rather the play calls. I We have given yeah. more critique or the quarterback. to the play calling. True. So perhaps that's more what it is.